Hello, I'll show you how to make a door that opens smoothly by using C-frames and the tween surface, just like this. So first we'll create the door itself. This part will serve as the center part, like the door will rotate around it. And this is the actual door. Next we weld these two together, so they move as one. So select both of them, go to model, create, weld. As you can see here, a valve has been added. Next you can group them together. Let's call them door. I'll call this part the center part. This one the door. Then next you can create a script. And we start by declaring the surfaces. So we'll be using tween surface. So next I'll add a variable for the center. Then I want to know if the door is open or closed. So next we'll add a click detector to the door. So we know when the player clicks the door. So we say script parent door click detector mouse click connect function. Then if door is closed, then Open door. Else close door. So this is where it gets a little tricky. Twin service does not directly support using C frames in parts. So we have to be a bit creative here. So first we have to create a C frame value. And we set the value to the current center. Dot C frame. So now instead of twinning the parts, we twin this value, and in turn that value will change the door position. So when C frame changes, we want to change the door. So center dot C frame equals CF dot value. Next let's create the tween. So tween create and we get the C frame value. Tween info. Let's say it takes one second. Value equals center dot C frame times C frame dot angles. Then we use radius mat dot red. So mat dot radius translates the number to a degree between one and two hundred and sixty. Say 90 degrees and play. And do the same thing for closing. Then we want to do minus 90 degrees. And then we say door is now open.
And here, door is now closed. Now if we test it out. So next let's add a cooldown. So you can spam click the door. Local debounce equals false. If debounce is true, then return and so if debounce is true, it won't continue the script, it will stop. And next debounce equals true. Wait one because it takes one second to tween. Then we say debounce equals false. So it can continue again. Next let's anchor this part. So it doesn't fall over. Make sure you don't anchor this part, otherwise it won't rotate with the center. And lastly we can add some small detail. And then easing style. Let's say quartz. This means that the value will increase fast and then slower. So the door will open fast and it slows down. Let's do the same for this. Then play again. Alright, that's it. I'll add the script to the description of the video so you can check it out.